What's good, YouTube, and welcome to the house. I'm gonna touch on a difficult subjects that I think market watches don't really go in on enough. And look at Pot of Extravagance. It's down four dollars from the other day. Well, that's an independent seller. We see the next one 66. We see the next one 68. We go over to eBay. Oh, 63 down even further. 65. So it's trending downwards right now and people often ask me should i sell my cards right now should i buy my cards and i often say there's factors are you playing in the wcq and does the deck you want to play play extravagance well if your answer is yes hold on to them play your best deck what you like the most for the wcq you're paying travel you're playing paying hotel etc like you are doing a lot play the deck you like the most don't make some expected value loss that could be totally trumped by a couple of buyouts like don't take that and ruin your WCQ experience. Trickstar players, <coughs> uh, Altergeist players, Subterra Guru players, look at you guys. Y'all are playing this card. You want to probably have access to it, right? Now, on the other hand, there is also, well, if you're not playing it, then yes, I would sell it. But it's reprints likely all the way over in March unless we get a surprise, right? Savage Strike's not in the tins as far as we know. They replaced it with Dark Savior. So we're looking at the 100 card set in March that's like Dual Power or Duelist Saga or Kaiba Collection to probably reprint this card for us. So your expected value is that it will go down at one point and if you wanted to rebuy you try to get it at that low point and then throughout the off season it'll go back up as we ramp up into three YCSs and you know a potential ban list where it could really juice this up you're you're looking at playing a game of when do i get back in if you really want this card so time is money the amount of locals you'll play this in is also many use actual use value is part of the deal so whenever i say i would get rid of it it's because i wouldn't be playing pot of extravagance at an event now that we've cleared that up let's also look at another card phantasme ah back up a couple dollars towards that 90 dollar mark you see whenever something goes up in a set the other also tends to trend down whether it's tied to it or not sets become top heavy and the rest tend to trickle down trickle down new geonomics that such is not always the case obviously but uh the the more top heavy something gets the rest tends to fall because opening the sealed product means well, this card gets back the money, thus these become cheaper because sealed products still exist. It's not a just blanket universe of single prices. You have to remember, once something becomes worth ripping open the product, more and more product gets open. Uh, top 10 side cards. Konami released them, and uh, I just wanted to note, there is an actual prize card electric virus. The forgotten prize cards. The Battle Pack Starfoils. So, $30 for an electric virus. Are you really playing electric virus if you're not playing the prize? The prize card version can just take any monster, right? Uh, the jokes. But, uh, seriously, if, if you're looking for max rarity WCQ, that's what you feel great with. These do exist and that's just a friendly reminder but uh it's pretty cool that the commons are actually still easier to get despite uh having such low pricing it's still pretty easy to get them and if you buy uh, multiples from certain people you can still get them cheap it's nice to see that a card that everyone's scrambling towards is currently still able to get for a nice price and on that note lancia has its hollow foil reprint coming up so sellers despite low quantities of this are still selling it cheaper and cheaper because they know the reprint is coming so it's nice also to see battles of legend offer some coolant going into the wcq on certain cards despite its presence not being directly there for the wcq so very low quantities on certain variants ots but the prices aren't just becoming super ridiculous uh, all thanks to battles of legend chaos dragon levia near so this was literally 26 dollars last night we, we were pulling it up uh i believe on stream we pulled up a couple cards and we were looking at chaos dragon levian here it was 26 yesterday ah the joy of independent sellers actually wanting to make a buck 20 dollars here we see 21 22 and it, it i think it was a low of 24 yesterday on ebay so the fallout from this buyout very very fast it's from soul fusion it's likely going to be somewhere in the megatons i think this would actually look pretty clean as a super rare i would like to see more of its art in that fashion but 
of course, the secret itself looks nice, too. Uh, ooh, prismatic secret. Bliss. But, uh, seriously, all the rarities are supposed to be different, so we'll have to see if they consider prismatic secret different from a secret for certain cards in the Mega Tins. And, uh, yeah, after this $20 one, it does quickly still go back up towards 26 you know, 30 But you have eBay creating some free competition also that... It, it can somewhat quickly go back up to, but we're seeing fallout, which means the trend will be more people are going to list this towards 20 than 18 and want to make their sales. Now, do you remember that guy in the comment section going off about volcanics? I think he actually created a meme that spiked upwards to a ridiculous amount. We have the official secret rare volcanic rocket bike believe i'm saying this so yeah the unlims have been like towards 20 it seems but the first ads lowest are 60 dollars where's my volcanic support and reference where's prismatic volcanic rock oh man $50 over here for the lowest near mint first but this isn't the only card there's actually not a, si a single first ed ultimate rare uh volcanic shell I believe that I saw on TCG play the other day we'll see if it's updated nope nope all near mint or you're looking at moderate play <laughs> copies luckily over on eBay if you are looking for volcanic shell these might be some of the last cheap ones but who knows how many this man's has more than 10 available first ed volcanic shell Shells. You looking for a hot investment? You, you see what? there you're looking for a hot investment this is just the power of memes we've seen memes we've seen sphere mode hit 40 from means to cite minimal use in a meta game at one point right uh, we've seen memes become money this is another example so you're looking for a hot investment we got 13 dollar volcanic shells here on ebay before they're quickly 20 dollars and just not existent on tcg player the first ed's just hard to get blaze accelerator similarly market price 12 i can't believe this this is like one of those deeper conversations 12 dollars and the lowest ends up being 20 here and uh jrb jobber collectibles 20 over here here's my thing with this when i look at these these cards that were not that good that had niche play and we stare at them and see that champion pack supers after years and years go from two dollars to five dollars to just because they can't replenish on the market to twenty dollars what's the future of ots pack supers because they're way easier to get it opens up this broader conversation of course turbo pack and you know champion pack tournament pack those those are a little different and, and much older and less in quantity what's the future collectability of ots pack supers what do you guys think do you think the quantity is just far too much to ever reach this point or do you think once something becomes meta oh, oh heck yeah it's gonna go up like a good example i think is wyver burster uh this this the super rares for this and Col collapse serpent oh yeah they shot up despite being astral pack which is somewhat newer to the uh the the quantities and stuff that would be out there for sellout yet despite fallout afterwards stay up there because they're that in demand for hollowing out the deck and I know a lot of you viewers, you just care about the cheapest copies. What can I get for cheap? But there's also viewers who care, wow, what's happening with this? Oh, I had this in my trade binder. So I'm always going to uh, cover the highest rarity, even when the next rarity is, you know, 30 cents, 40 cents, 25 cents, which again, oh man, all those, you know, really, really cheap copies, you know, of commons disappear over time. Uh, with the new TCG player system. And what's my final tab? Oh yeah, I wanted to cover dual power here. So, speaking about those March sets, it really feels like with Duelist Saga, with Kaiba Collection and dual power, so many get open, and the cards are so guaranteed in a 100 card set where, where it's just so easy to pull things, that nothing really recovers in price. And permanence still holding down as if you pull this, you got your whole dual power back. Everything else is Fallout under $10. I don't think anybody saw this coming looking at the set we called it the one of the ultimate investments and it still actually kind of is but ash blossom having its common it still maintains at eight dollars here ghost bell very shocking actually to see this with only one reprint here maybe it's expectations for it to be in the megatons i really don't know but uh it, it's kind of shocking to see it down this low right now nasher a card original to this started much much higher with much more hype and there were other cyber dragon buyouts around its release everything's tanked back down ghost ogre is a card i would be grabbing over and over and it continues to go down 
uh, and it's being played heavily within this metagame. It's just the quantities are so crushing, and we haven't even hit an unlimited printing of this set. That's how crazy things are. Like, I expected the unlimited printing of the set to bring it back down to earth, but you have these original cards within a $30 like price point set. So freaking cheap. Look, look at, here's a really good comparison. Heratic Seal. This is, this is a $3 card, right? That does amazing things. Highly anticipated Link Reigns pack card that is going crazy with the Guard Dragon engine. Let's look at another piece of the Guard Dragon engine. Triple Burst Dragon, which could be up for reprints soon, right? Uh, well, he's going to be near $15, right? Yeah, $14.80 for the cheapest. Not locked behind a $30 price point, but from Extreme Force, which has had time but you know we could see it in the something like the revolver structure our little gun dragons pew 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 we could see it coming in there right that's a very plausible thing yet here he is just maintaining price because he was overlooked at one point in life i i really think it's interesting that uh you know again wrapping back around time is money triple burst a relatively less played thing that became a useful piece in the guard dragon engine where will what will it take for the heretic spheres to end up up will it take saryuja not getting hit again will it take just lots of time that 30 dollars price point really you know locking it back but we've also seen with the legendary uh legendary decks the legendary hero decks that prices locked behind a 30 dollars price point even with guaranteed in the set tend to go up so where is dual powers breaking point because we're three to four months out here from its release and it's just chilling thank you so much for watching what do you guys think of today's market watch discussion with the more in-depth answers to uh questions that come from many of you guys did you like that kind of segment and my thoughts and explanations on that let me know what you think in the comment section down below please subscribe if you haven't already please help a boy eat and uh thank you so much for watching these videos i really do appreciate it